This is the Patrick Adair Supplies YouTube channel. I'm Elliot, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of the easiest rings that you can make. This is a tungsten offset channel inlay ring. We're gonna put in some neon green opal as well as some neon green glow powder, and that's it. Stick around, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Okay, this ring design is gonna be super simple. We have the tungsten offset channel inlay blank. We have our neon green glow powder and our neon green opal. Those are the only things that are going in this ring. Um, there's not a ton of space in this tiny little channel, so we can't fit much anyways. It's just gonna look cool, glowing green, and it's gonna be easy too because it's a tungsten blank. We're able to sand it down and it's probably not gonna get scratched up really. If you are a subscriber to our subscription box, we also are gonna send you some alternative options. We've got the yellow neon glow powder as well as our lemon quartz um, inlay stones. So you can use those if you want. Those are real quartz. Um, we also included 10 of these extra mixing vials and 10 of these extra um, ma material containers. So if you are a subscriber, you got all of those this month. If you're looking to just learn how to make a super easy ring, this is a great video for you and it's a great video for a beginner because this is all that's going in. If you're wondering what tools I'm using, this is just a one of the cheapest wen lays you can get online on Amazon. It's a woodworking lathe, so it's not gonna be able to go through like super heavy materials like metal, but it works perfectly for inlay rings. Make sure you get the one with the chuck jaws and I've included a link for that in the description. So if you are interested in getting the same thing I have, this is like 250 bucks, I think all in. We love these ring mandrels. We sell these on our website. I'll include a link for these as well below. They work perfectly for ring making. They're one of the best tools you can have. So I have a size nine. I'm gonna use my medium sized um, ring mandrel. And since it's a tungsten, I'm not worried about scratching it or anything with the stainless steel mandrel. So. I'm just gonna put it on here with no electrical tape or anything. I'm gonna get it all straightened on there. Test it out. Yeah, looking good. Let's get started on the inlay. I almost forgot I need to crush up my materials really quick. I only have one material, of course, which is the neon green opal. I already used some of this opal, so there's not really a whole gram in here. I'm just gonna put it in here inside this tape roll so nothing gets, um, I don't lose a lot of it. I'm gonna crush them up. They have to be pretty small because they need to fit in that tiny inlay channel. There we are. Let's get you a little closer view of that. They're pretty small. A few of those still won't fit in the channel quite, but um, it's already getting pretty powdery and I don't want to waste it all. Let's get back over to the ring. Okay, I'm gonna use our super thin glue for my super thin channel. I'm just gonna sprinkle this in there and pretty much fill it as much as it will fill. To go around the whole length. Have to steal some opal back to get it all the way through. Running low because I already made a ring with this opal. Okay, once you've gone around the whole channel, 
The next thing I'm going to do is add the glow powder. I'm going to be, I'm not going to use a ton. I want it to glow nice and bright, but I want, also want that opal to show through. I'm going to stick with the super thin glue. I'll just lightly hit breeze going through my shop it's helpful I'm trying to get glow powder in I'm not gonna get every single spot like soaked in deep I want that opal to be able to shine through pretty well so that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna now hit it with the accelerator so that it will dry really quick for me uh, just a couple squirts of this AstroTech it's all you really need then I'm gonna let that dry. That's pretty much dry instantly, but I'm gonna let it dry for four or five minutes just to be safe. And then I'll come back. Okay, that's nice and dry. I'm gonna do this ring a little bit differently. I'm not going to like fill everything right up to the channel. I'm going to try to have a clear see-through um, like 3D effect. So I'm gonna build up the whole channel the rest of the way. I'm still gonna use super thin so that it gets in there nicely. And I'm just gonna keep it spinning with my hand so it doesn't build up on any certain spot. Go ahead and hit it with the accelerator. And I'll keep spinning this for another 10 seconds or so while that accelerator really sets in. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and wait another four or five minutes and build up the glue one more time. Okay, let's do another layer of the super thin. All right, this is solidified and you can see maybe some of that 3D effect. I think the light might be hitting this the wrong way, but I'll show you later. Um, you definitely have some depth in here because we built it up with the glue. Next thing I'm gonna do is just hit it with a Dremel. Oh, that's gonna be the easiest way to get all this extra gunk off and we'll get it down to the channel and then we're gonna do some sandpaper to smooth it out before we polish. You can get these um, sanding drums on our website. We have the perfect three different grits for um, ring making on there. And we saw them in bulk packs so that you can run through them as well. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna switch over to some sandpaper. It's getting close. You can see my sandpaper isn't really doing anything to the tungsten, it's still nice and shiny. I just have a few more spots I'm going to sand down and then I will raise up the grit to get that um, channel at a smoother finish. All right, I'm gonna raise the grit from 120 up to 240. So 
looking good all over. I'm gonna raise the grit again up to 320 and then we'll get into a polish. Okay, for polishing, I'm gonna go through the steps of our AstroTech um, jewelry polish. I have just a regular paper towel here. I'm going to squirt out a little bit on the paper towel. I need a new bottle. I'm gonna put the lathe on low speed at first so it doesn't fling polish all over the place. This will really get that um, channel looking just perfectly smooth like the rest of your tungsten ring. I'll do the next step, our medium. You don't need to like, wipe it off in between or anything. Last but not least, the mirror finish polish. And I'll link these in the description as well as probably in the video. They're the perfect jewelry making polish and for the upkeep of your ring. It's looking shiny. Now it's done. Let's pull it off and let's take a look at it. All right, here it is. Looks awesome. I'm gonna clean it up a tiny bit because there's still a little bit of glue on it and everything, but love how this turned out. It's a super simple design, but it looks awesome. You know, it looks like that nuclear, like toxic waste in a ring. So I love it. Let's get some glow shots and see how that looks. Yeah, the green looks awesome. It glows super bright. So you're gonna love how this ring looks. Comment below if you thought this was an easy ring to make. I think the combination of the tungsten with the um, skinny channel makes it just about as simple as it can get. Send this to somebody who you think would like to learn how to make a simple ring. Thanks for watching.